In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Spirit of God, come and enlighten our minds and hearts, so that we may grasp the secrets of the kingdom, so that enlightened by your word, we may discern our thoughts, our ways and deeds, so that they may be always pleasing in the sight of our blessed Lord, so that we may participate in the beatific vision of all the angels and saints, our promised life in heaven with all the blessed ones. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. My dear friends, we are in the 32nd Sunday of the Ordinary Time. The liturgy of the Word of God today invites us to prepare our lives to meet our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with lives blameless, unblemished, holy, fitting, acceptable in His sight. And the picture that is represented is that of a lighted lamp burning to welcome the bridegroom. In the first reading, in the book of wisdom, it is said that all those who seek the Lord early morning, seeking His ways, will find the wisdom of life, the goal, the purpose, the aim of life. In the second reading, St. Paul tells us that all those who hoped for the coming of the Lord, the Lord will not deceive them, rather He will reveal Himself to them. The Gospel today, we are invited with the parable of the foolish virgins and the wise virgins that what makes our life foolish or wise is the preparation because we are set forth our life the goal of our life is union with God having known that purpose if we are not ready then we are not orienting towards our goal we are going away from our goal St. Augustine so beautifully says what you don't increase decreases automatically if we do not grow in holiness and virtue Automatically, our lamps will run dry as the one without oil, so that towards the certain things in life, especially the good virtues in life, we cannot borrow it from others. We need to earn it for ourselves through the time, the energy, the opportunities the Lord gives us to do good and to be good in this life. Therefore, as we read this parable of the foolish and the wise virgins, let us take efforts that through our good works of virtuous life, desirous life, integrated life, a life lived to please, pleasing in the sight of the Lord, that each one of us at the end of our lives may meet the Lord and Saviour with a lighted burning lamp so that we might receive the commendation from the Lord saying, Well done, my good and trusted servant. Come and share in your master's delight. Toward this grace, let us pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, burning, burn. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray, Alleluia. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, burning. Keep me burning till the end of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Let us pray, Jesus, we present thank you for the innumerable opportunities that you give us to use our time and our energy, our desire, our work, so that we may always be good and do good. May we always use every opportunity to extend the good and kind work so that we may meet you with our lamps burning brightly with the virtue of holiness and virtuous life in our lives. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.